Home Secretary Priti Patel will today announce that the UK is finally to prescribe Hamas as a terrorist organisation in its entirety. Previously, it made a distinction between the political and armed wings. Of course, the USA, Japan and Canada already did that, and the EU did it in 2017. So plenty of people are asking what took them so long. But Patel is speaking uh, in Washington, D.C. on her visit there, and she's due to say that Britain has taken the view that we can no longer disaggregate the sort of military and political side. It's based upon a wide range of intelligence information, she said, and also links to terrorism, and that the severity of that speaks for itself. So plenty of people are seeing this as a very positive sign because it means that Britain will be in a position now to be much tougher on people showing support for Hamas in the UK. Uh, one such person, it's been suggested in a lot of the press here, was former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, who once called members of Hamas his friends and has met with senior officials from Hamas. So that sort of behaviour now, once the law has changed, and she says she hopes to push this through next week, would be illegal, punishable by uh, some time in prison. So this is definitely something which may also rile the Labour Party, some members of which still believe that close ties or connections or discussions with Hamas is imperative for trying to come to some sort of peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. This is the government now saying, the Conservative government, that that is not so, that Hamas can't be thought of as anything else other than a terrorist organisation in its entirety. I'm sure that will be welcomed over there in Israel.